If you don't have a firewall, your server is completely open for anyone to access, which is pretty scary. But TUFW makes it amazingly simple to protect your Linux machine by allowing or blocking specific ports and even IP addresses in a nice terminal interface that makes it much easier than learning a bunch of UFW commands. Or does it? Let's find out. And before we do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. UFW, or Uncomplicated Firewall, is a Linux CLI tool for managing firewalls that comes pre-installed on Ubuntu and to be honest, the syntax is really easy to understand. Although, if you don't configure Linux firewalls on a regular basis, then it's easy to forget the more complicated syntax. This is where TUFW comes in. Let's say on my Ubuntu server, I only want to allow connections via SSH. After installing TUFW, I can add a rule to only allow connections to port 22. Leave the optional inputs empty and hit save. And you can see it's filled in the optional fields and gave me two rules, one for IPv4 and one for IPv6. Now I can access my server via SSH but port 3000 is blocked. Let's fix that by adding a new rule to port 3000 and then change the protocol to TCP and add a comment, which now fixes the problem. TUFW also lets you change the action so I can allow, deny, reject, and so on, and even change the interface to use loopback, ethernet, and Docker, which I have installed on this server. But for now, let's delete our 3000 rule and also our IPv6 for SSH to only allow access to port 3000 just from my IP address. So if I use a VPN to change my IP, I should no longer have access to this port. And because TUFW uses UFW under the hood, we can still use native UFW to view all the rules. For someone like me who doesn't configure firewalls that often, this is a huge time saver. But I did experience a few issues when using TUFW. At the moment, the UI only supports arrow keys, which I found a bit annoying as a Vim user because I'm so used to hitting the J, H, K, and L keys inside a terminal environment. If you enter an incorrect value in a field, there is no visual feedback. So I had to use this command to send errors to a log file and then access the logs to see what was causing the issue. There are also some very small but weird bugs like saying the firewall is disabled even if it isn't because there are no rules and sometimes showing duplicate inputs when trying to edit a rule. Then again, these could all be skill issues on my part. Anyway, minor issues aside, I think TUFW is a great tool that I'll definitely add to all of my Linux servers. But what do you think? Is it something you're going to try out or are you going to stick to the native UFW? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy coding.